My name's John. Uh, I'm doing my Masters by Research in Economics uh, and I'm hoping to finish pretty soon. Well, my original undergraduate degree was in engineering. Um, it was a double degree in engineering and mathematics. Uh, and after finishing that, I worked as an engineer for four years uh, in a consultancy. So I suppose I was using my engineering there, but um, the maths really helped me a lot with the, the engineering stuff and understanding the concepts that were involved there. Um, and this year I've gone back to do my master's research in economics. So a bit of a different field, but all that maths is still really applicable um, to that new field, I suppose, because it's, it's still quite a quantitative kind of field. Well, I was always good at maths in school. Um, and I think if you have strong quantitative skills, then you really do keep your options open in life. I mean, you can, I've done engineering and economics, but there's a million different jobs where maths is applicable. Um, and I mean, it teaches you how to think uh, in a kind of logical way. Um, and that kind of critical thinking is helpful in any career, I think. So I suppose it was a love of maths combined with um, knowledge that it would keep my options open. Um, it helps me understand Big Bang Theory. <laughs> um, I think just watching, watching TV or just listening to the media in general, uh, it really helps you process things logically. Um, like every, every night on the news you see these medias, uh, media studies on new medical research that's come out and they're quoting statistics at you. Um, and it gives you a framework to actually interpret those things. Um, and to throw away a lot of the nonsense that you, you hear in the media and generally in life. My grade 11 maths teacher, Mrs Kelly, she was pretty inspiring. I suppose the, the fact that she used real world kind of problems when she taught maths, um, that kept me interested in mathematics for sure. Um, she didn't just abstract it from reality and make it into equations and uh, abstract kind of things. So that, that I suppose helped fan the flames of my enthusiasm for maths. Um, I think using real world problems to teach maths is it's definitely a good way to, to get students interested. Um, if you can show how the maths they're learning is directly applied in the real world, how an engineer would use it or a, a person doing a financial analysis, um, I think that's more likely to keep students interested in maths than if you just, just abstract it. Well, I think one thing I've found important when teaching, if I'm teaching maths or statistics, is you have to meet the student where they're at. So I can teach them how to do a, solve a differential equation, uh, and maybe they can repeat that, but they're not going to understand that to repeat it again in a different situation. And the only way you can help them to understand is to find out where they're, they're actually at, uh, where their level of knowledge is, and to meet them there, and then take them to where you need them to go. So I think rote learning is a bad idea. Um, I think you need that individual attention, that person saying, here's where John's at, you know, he's a bit slow, he's a bit behind everyone else, I've got to meet him where he's at and show him these other things, which maybe aren't a part of the subject to get him up to, to that level. That's what I've had to do teaching at university anyway. Uh, well, I'm applying to do my PhD in the States uh, in economics. So finishing my thesis, um, putting in all the applications overseas, um, getting reference letters and hopefully I can start there in the fall semester next year. Uh, one, two and three would be make it interesting, um, apply it to the real world in a way that's, that's interesting because there's a lot of kids out there who could be really good at maths but they have boring maths teachers who don't bother putting in the effort um, and if you can make it interesting by taking the extra time to actually build up those real life problems um, and situations that are relevant to their lives then there's a good chance they'll be better at maths in the long run, I think.